Medicare for all. Will you raise taxes on the middle class for pay, to pay for it? I have made clear what my principles are here. Costs will go up for the wealthy. They will go up for big corporations and for middle class families. They will go down. I will not sign a bill into law that does not lower costs for middle class families. Well, there's Elizabeth Warren defending her progressive agenda. She's grilled on her policies and how they would hit your wallet. Our next guest warns a Warren presidency could damage American society as we know it. Let's break that down. David Bonson is chief investment officer of the Bonson Group and author of the upcoming book, Elizabeth Warren, How Her Presidency Would Destroy the Middle Class and the American Dream. He joins us live now. We appreciate you coming in. Thanks for having me. So we were just kind of going through how with Bernie Sanders being back, a lot of his supporters say that Elizabeth Warren is socialism light, that she's not aggressive and progressive enough. You say, actually, it's pretty, pretty dangerous. It's pretty dangerous, but I think it's more dangerous by the fact that she's able to market herself as light. In other words, that's more electable than Bernie Sanders. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not saying she's fully electable. We don't know. I am saying she's a politically talented person. She's gotten to this point despite having such an extreme agenda. And I think if she were to get the nomination, you're going to see the biggest pivot we've ever seen to her all of a sudden being this moderate and centrist But how candidate. could she possibly make that pivot well, when she, her whole campaign has been authenticity right. of somebody who's going to break up the banks and go in there and be tough? If she tries to run to the middle, doesn't the, that blow up in her face? For one thing, she's going to have an incredible accomplice called the mainstream media that will mm. let her get away with it, and that goes a long way. But also, the break up the big banks, break up big oil, that's not considered hyper-progressive. That, that's sort of your standard class warfare rhetoric. It's very dangerous. The issue about uh, Medicare for all and particularly the eliminating fracking on day one, which attacks blue collar middle class American workers, mm-hmm. you can't walk that back. So I agree. She's in for a tough fight to try to claim that. But Bernie Sanders wouldn't even try to claim it. Mm-hmm. Liz Warren would, I think, make that argument. And it's just going to be a very but interesting. Let's talk path. a little bit more about that Sanders Warren dynamic and who's the real socialist, who's the real progressive. They're going to go back and forth. Political magazine talking about AOC's Sanders endorsement won't change 2020, they say, but it might change the Democratic Party. Yeah. Uh, they kind of listed out how this is a signal from the young guns in the Democratic Party to Elizabeth Warren that you're not progressive enough yeah. and that Bernie Sanders is the real deal. What's that? Um, I read the article and I, I have to say, I think it was a very smart thing for AOC because they don't believe Bernie's campaign is going anywhere, but he has a lot of money. He has a lot of energy. A lot of young voters really have backed up. But if that goes away, and Elizabeth Warren keeps climbing in the polls. People won't remember AOC's endorsement. She got to keep her street cred by endorsing the real socialist. And then in a few months, none of us will be talking real about quick, it again. David Brooks had his column in The New York Times a couple of days ago insisting, oh, all this conventional wisdom that Warren would lose badly to President Trump isn't true. She's got this movement yeah. and that she can really beat him. I, I, I sense from the president's camp, they would love to face Elizabeth Warren. Uh, that may be true. My One of the things I've been writing is in this form of the book writing is I'm not sure that we need no. I think that Elizabeth Warren is going to be a talented campaigner, but she would be running in an unprecedented level of progressive extremism. Mm-hmm. There are certain political planks that she's taken that are going to, as you said, be hard to walk back. Right. But the rhetoric about being for the middle class right. while you're advocating policies that hurt the middle class, dangerous. David Bonson, check out his new book on Elizabeth Warren. Appreciate you coming in. Thanks for having me. All right.